Okay, now we're on to this one called the solubility test for lipids. So in this one, we get to use test tubes like this, okay? And what I've done on the test tubes is I've labeled them. This is mineral oil, water, glucose, albumin, starch, and french fry, okay? And it tells me to add one milliliter, 20 drops of distilled water. So I've already done that. So all that's in these tubes right now is just water. And then I'm gonna add one milliliter of the sample to be tested. And pretty much it works just like this. I put in, I think it says like 20 drops or something, right? Two, three, four. About like that. So when I add those drops of mineral oil, I'm actually gonna do this over the bench right here. And even if I mix it up, you'll see all these bubbles form. And ultimately these bubbles show me that I have two layers of liquid in here. I have the water layer and I have the mineral oil. So that, that means I have two layers. That means the oil does not mix with the water hydrophobic, so it is not soluble. If I add water to my water tube, anybody want to guess what's going to happen? Oh, don't put that in. I'm sure you can. If I add more water to this tube, even if I mix it up, it just stays one layer. There's no there's no extra layer in there. And that line you see on the tube is just a stain from the outside of the tube. There's no, there's no extra layer. It's water mixes easily with water. If I add the glucose, here's my glucose. mix it up and I look, that just stays one layer. There, are, there is an air bubble in here, but it's not, there's no extra layer. It's not like what you see with the mineral oil. And again, you can look here. Here's the mineral oil again, where you can clearly see at this point, there's two layers in this tube. There's this top layer of the oil and the bottom layer of the water. For albumin, here's the albumin. Don't fall asleep, computer. Here's it. We mix it up. This, this, the albumin actually looks kind of cloudy compared to, say, the glucose. It's not as clear, right? But I don't see two layers. I just see one layer, one cloudy mixture in there. It does not look like this, right? Where the oil's floating right on top. It just looks like one layer of liquid. So that's the albumin. Here's the starch. Again, it's kind of cloudy, but I only see the one layer. There's no extra layer. Doesn't doesn't look like that where I can clearly see the two layers. Just one. It's just kind of cloudy. Sort of a little bit like the albumin, right? And then the last one is a French fry. If I can get, let's see, 20 drops in there. Oof, we'll just put a couple squirts in. This one also, at least right now, mostly just looks cloudy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come back to the french fry later, because sometimes what we, what we find with these 
uh, substances like food is that the, the layer of fat, if we find it at all, it just forms a very, very fine layer at the very, very top. So I'm going to let it sit for a while and see if any fat rises up for the french fry.